Now, we've been told the identity. I'm, being, I'm doing this in a very Bond type way, aren't I? A very M type way. Um, the identity of the director of the next James Bond film. Uh, is Carrie Fukunaga. Now, Danny Boyle, you remember, quit the franchise last month. Um, so Carrie will now direct the 25th film in the series, which is due to be released in February of 2020. Rich Preston is our reporter. Hello, Rich. Hi, good morning. I know there'll be at least one person out there at the moment, probably more, who is saying, who is Carrie Fukunaga? Well, he's a 41-year-old American and he's got a big background in television, actually. He's perhaps best known for the first series of the American crime drama True Detective. Uh, He's actually got another series which lands tomorrow on Netflix. It's a dark comedy called Maniac. In terms of movies, he directed the 2011 adaptation of Jane Eyre. And more recently, and this is the interesting one, the 2015 film Beasts of No Nation about a civil war in West Africa. And that starred the British actor Idris Elba. Aha, who's many people's tip as a future Bond, of course. Yes, there's been lots of speculation, in particular last month, when uh, Idris Elba tweeted the names Elba, Idris Elba, and then promptly followed that up to to kind of take the mick out of people that were wildly speculating, and and it's something that he's denied. Mm. Well, this film, we already know, this is a Daniel Craig film, The 25th Bond. Yes, that's right. It's going to be his fifth appearance as James Bond. And actually, that's pretty much all we know about it. Um, As with all Bond films, they're keeping their cards close to the chest. It doesn't even have a name yet. It's just been called Bond 25. Uh, It starts filming March next year, and it's due for worldwide release February 2020, which incidentally is four months later than previously planned. Mm. So what about Carrie Fukunaga's style then? Because you talked about about the various different projects and they they seem like quite an eclectic bunch of things well that's that's the point and and the kind of eclectic nature is really the key uh, part of this and in the announcement on twitter um, the producers barbara broccoli and michael g wilson praised him for his versatility and innovation. Uh, and he was a bit of a surprise choice after Danny Boyle resigned. Christopher Nolan was amongst the favourites, as were the Scottish filmmaker David McKenzie and the English director Joe Wright. So Carrie Fukunaman's name really wasn't in the running much, so it will be interesting to see what he brings to the job. Well, it, it will. And also, I suppose, to an extent, people will ask what he can bring to the job because creative differences were blamed for Danny Boyle dropping out and people wondered whether or not he was going to be given the autonomy that he wanted. So... It will be interesting to see how much of Carrie Fukunaga we actually see in the next Bond film. Yes, it will. Daniel Craig has kind of final say in his contract on the, the people that appear in the film. Uh, and rumours speculated that that was one of the reasons that there uh, was a rift that developed between Danny Boyle and Daniel Craig over their disagreement over who should play the Russian villain in the film. Thank you, Rich. Uh, that's our reporter, Rich Preston. Um, with a bit more detail on that news then that uh, Carrie Fukunaga... Uh, has been uh, chosen as the director of the next Bond film after Danny Boyle quits. So it comes out in February of 2020. Only four months later, as Rich was saying, that it was originally due. That's not a lot of time to uh, to put your stamp on something, is it? But we'll wait and see. Right, let's get the news and sport now. It's half 11. On digital, online, smartphone and tablet. This is BBC Five Live.